Beehive bases its fiber design off of the Rocky Mountain Power, power uh, design in many aspects. Um, we receive their uh, power design in a PDF format and then we create an overlay in Google Earth like you're seeing here and then we align that overlay to our existing network. So what we need to do is identify, use this as a location for where we're going to draw roads with inside 3GIS and all of the address points for each of the potential customers as shown on the overlay here. So first thing we need to do is draw in the roads and then that will be used to transfer into 3GIS. So I come over to the particular area that we're in. I'm adding a folder. I just call it roads. Then we want to start adding the road polygon. Make sure it's a polygon and not a line. Doesn't matter what color and so forth, but I like to do it um, just so I can see it better. leave this open then you start drawing in your roads we can uh, we can clean up um, where it ties into the existing road in 3GIS later on but notice where it's putting the so right here you, you think about it a little, little bit ahead of time because we can't do all the rows with one polygon. You have to do it in multiple. So I'm just going to go straight down and, and do this portion first. And then double click to finish it off. So there's my one road polygon. This one here messed up a little bit. Not sure what's up. Oh, I know. It's because of that other overlay is right next to it. But that's okay. So that's one road right there. Now I want to start another road. And I'm going to capture the rest of this. I want to finish off that road there. Go ahead and close that out. And then I want to start another one. Same style, yep. And it's going to, this is coming up there, so I'll start here. You know what, I should be okay. This is where I cut that other one off here, so now I head it back the other direction. So finish that off. Um, 
it's doing this because I'm because of the overlays. But if I turn off the overlay, you can see that there's the roads that I've drawn. So that's it for that. So I now I can take this, save as, save it as a KMZ. I'll just call it roads. The overlays don't come across in the import to 3GIS, but I don't care about that. All I'm caring about right now is the is the roads. So here's 3GIS. I've zoomed roughly to the area of where I'm at. On another screen, I'm going and finding that Prosperity Roads right here. And all you do is I just drag it onto the 3GIS like that. So it now draws it in temporarily just to show where it's at. Um, I could use that and then trace along it, retrace it inside 3GIS to clean it up and make it look nicer. That's one way of doing it. Another way is I can actually import it as a road feature. I can click on here and import those features. Import select the roads it recognizes the uh, the file that we drag and dropped on make sure that this is on so allowing the creation of new features that's important destination we'll just put it on the roads layer inside 3gis the field should be already matched up we only need that one field that's fine hit stage import and then we validate number of two records and i hit import to load it into the uh, into the system I can turn this off by if I go to the table of contents and it creates that layer inside the table of contents right here. So I can just turn that off and there is the roads that we have added. I can confirm that right here. So that's the roads that we added to the, uh, there's the road number one. Well, I guess I didn't grab the other one, but the, both of those are in there. So now we can start placing the address points along this road according to the layout inside Google Earth. So basically, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, you got six lots along this road. So then when you look at 3GIS, you just know that there's six lots along this road, so we place address points evenly for those for those six lots. We don't have to have individual lots identified in 3GIS, only the address points and, of course, building outlines. So you'd want to draw a little building outline and an address point in the middle of it um, for out, throughout that whole area. So that's it. That's how we add a new development area to 3GIS.